Hello, hey there, this is Benjamin, and I hope you're doing fine. In this video, I'm going to be talking about rejection. What does it mean to be rejected? And how rejection sometimes is redirection to a better life, a better person, or even better opportunities. And if you're going to watch for the first time, please don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. And also, don't forget to follow and like this page here on Facebook. Rejection is part and parcel of life. Rejection is one of the most painful experiences, whether it happens to a man or a woman, whether it happens to a rich man or a poor man. Rejection is one of the most difficult things to face. I used to think when women refused or rejected men was very painful for men, until I also realized that even when a woman is rejected by men or a man, is equally very painful. Bottom line, rejection is a painful and a difficult experience to go through. And the reason why I'm doing this video here is because first, I have been rejected before. Yes, I've been rejected for work, looking for a job. When I graduated more than 15 years ago, as a teacher fresh from college, I was looking for a job. I went to about 50 different schools, dropping my documents, my CV, to get a job as a teacher. <laughs> and um, after two months of moving around to more than 50 schools, I was not able to get a job. I began feeling rejected. Fresh from college, excited, I thought I was going to get a job as soon as I completed my studies and it was even worse every time I was walking on the streets meeting some of the men and women young energetic who are already working and already graduated it was very painful to see them going to work in the morning and getting back home in the evening rejection is a very painful thing you can be rejected by people in your family which is the worst form of rejection. You can be rejected by even a spouse. The mails sometimes I receive of people who have been together for more than 10, 15 years, and then finally, that spouse begins the journey of rejecting them. And you listen to their stories. You can imagine staying with someone for 15 years, same roof, same plans, same achievements, but after 15 years of working so hard to be together, they are finally changing their mind. They're walking away. They're leaving you alone in your own house, in your own world. If you are that person, what would you do? How would you feel when another person is rejecting you to go and start life with another man or another woman? That's how rejection is so difficult to comprehend. If you're looking for a job and you apply, if you're going to watch this video, you have graduated certificate, diploma, degree, master's, PhD, and then you apply for certain jobs and then you get rejected. It's a very painful thing. Even when you receive the email or a phone call that you have not been selected for an interview as a man or as a woman, it's one of the worst feelings ever. Even when you know you really qualified or you did your best during the interviews. Rejection breaks people's life. Rejection breaks even your immunity. And I want you to begin seeing that rejection can cost your life. Other than affecting your mental stability, rejection can also create room for you to begin feeling sick. Certain diseases, as simple as it may sound, like catching a common cold or having persistent headaches, sleepless nights, stress, constant stress, or even lack of sleep, can be because of the rejection you have been facing 
or you are going through as you are watching and listening to me. I have been rejected before and I know in my life the remaining few years that I have as a man, me as Benjamin, I know I will still be rejected. At certain point, I will be rejected somewhere and anywhere. And that's why I began by saying that rejection is part of life. It's a very painful thing to be rejected. Someone to refuse you. Someone to say no. Even for the young kids, if they want to play around, it's in the afternoon, a weekend, young boys under the age of 10. If one of those boys is rejected to join the other team, you can imagine how you'll feel if it's your son or if it's your daughter. The young girls and boys tell him or her, you can't play with us. Go back to your home. Go back to your house. Because of A, B, C, D. It's a very painful thing when you look at it that way. And you see this a young boy who could have been rejected at school to play or on the weekend to play with other young boys or young girls and comes, faces you as a parent, as a father or a mother and you think that your child is not stressed out, you think that uh, they have done a mistake, that's why they are quiet, they are not smiling or talkative the way they always talk with you. But if you are careful to know or if you care to know as a father or a mother why they are behaving that way, you will be surprised it's because of rejection. A teacher has rejected your son. You know? Because rejection is all over around us. Even here on social media. Someone can reject you. Someone can reject even replying to your messages. Or picking up your phone calls. Or just rejecting you because you don't look a certain way. Or you don't look like someone they can talk with. Based on your looks as a man or as a woman. Rejection occurs everywhere even in the church or mosques, the places where people should show genuine love without conditions, still there is rejection in those buildings and how people run those institutions. Rejection happens everywhere and anywhere, in government offices, private companies, where there are laws and regulations, still that CEO that head of department, that accountant, or the human resource manager, or whatever he is, he or she might reject certain things to you. And it's a very painful thing. So trust me, believe in me when I say that rejection is part of life. There is no way you're going to avoid rejection. In as much as you try to be a perfect guy, a perfect husband, a perfect wife, a perfect daddy, a perfect man, a perfect son or brother or daughter or sister, even in your family, there are people who will still reject you. And that is part of life. But this is the message that I want you to carry from this video and I hope you're going to share it. Some of these videos I really, really request you if you feel I'm speaking about you, about your life, or about someone that you know very close, share the video to him or her. Put it in your timeline. Download it. Put it on your WhatsApp status. Remind everyone what you've been listening to. The rejection is part of life. Your son will be rejected. As he's getting older, he will be rejected. Your daughter the same they will face rejection in their lives. And it's part of life. But the main message in this video is this. When you are rejected, begin to see it as a redirection. God, if you believe in God or Allah or whoever supernatural being you believe in, begin seeing that rejection as a journey to get somewhere better. When I applied for more than 50 different schools to get a job as a teacher, 
And then I was rejected by all those schools. I took a journey to go to a different town, far away, very countryside. Because somebody told me, go there, Benjamin. Maybe there they need a teacher. And the moment I took a bus and I went there, it didn't take me more than two weeks before I landed on my first job in a very remote place in my home country. And that story, I have said it over and over again. When I look back more than 15 years ago, the rejection I received from those 50 plus schools was a redirection for me to get somewhere better. And my journey started from that city, that town, that school, a place where I never used to believe I will find my, even when I was talking with my former schoolmates, the guys I schooled with, they were asking me, where are you these days, Benjamin? I used to tell them I'm in this town. And they were asking me, of all the places, you couldn't find a better place? Why did you go there? That's a very remote place. You don't deserve to be there. And it was in my home country. Rejection is redirection. And I want to encourage you in this video that whoever rejected you, whether it's your ex-husband, your ex-wife, your family members, the company you've been working for, your friend that you have been together with him or her for so many years or even so many months, when they begin rejecting you, rejecting your plans, rejecting your ideas, rejecting even to just being together with you, it's the first step to get somewhere else. It's the first journey to get another person. It's the first place for you even, even when someone rejects you. It's the first journey for you to become independent, to go back to your normal life. The way you used to be a happy woman, a happy man, now that this person has proved to you they no longer want you in their life then now you're starting the journey to go back to where you used to be. The sleep you've been missing. Now you can sleep. The insecurity that you used to have, questioning where is this man? Who is he chatting with? Where is he sleeping? What is he doing behind my back now? He is no longer in your life. You don't have to think about his life or the dangers he is putting to your life. That rejection brings back your mental stability, which is very important in this era. You, you would rather have, you would rather be a broke man. You would rather, you would rather be, be alone in a different country, but have mental stability. Here in the brain is stable. You can think, you can control your emotions, you can smile again, you can sleep again. You don't need medication to feel okay because your mental state is perfectly fine. Other than having someone in your life who has messed up your mental stability, robbed you of your happiness as you're getting older, your body also needs mental stability. You don't want to begin taking medication, high blood pressure or diabetes, or sleeping pills as young as under the age of 50. You don't want to do that. You can take a decision and say, hey, this man is rejecting me. We have children together. We have a family together. We have properties together. But he is rejecting me over another woman or for another woman. It's a painful thing. I don't promise you it's easy to just walk away and say enough is enough. Yes, rejection is redirection. It's easier said than done. But I want to encourage you to begin seeing it as a redirection to a better life. Because when someone rejects you, it means you have to do a lot. Everything will be about you. Finances is you. Emotional stability is you. And when someone is rejecting you, most of them, they are still very happy. They sleep well because they know they have rejected you, but you still accept them. 
you still tolerate their nonsense. You still are begging them to be together with you. Can you imagine? Someone has rejected you and you still want him to be around with you. Can you imagine that? A lady has rejected you, but you still want to be there. You want to do the most for her. But she has shown you from actions and words, they no longer need you. They don't want you. They have no plans to be together with you. But you're doing so much. When you're rejected, you do a lot of work. You try to create happiness, they give you sadness. You try to make them feel comfortable and peaceful, they give you chaos, drama. You want them to be, to be healthy, but they make you sick. You have to take medication every day and night. So if someone is rejecting you as you're listening to me and watching me today, this is the first step for you to be redirected to a better life, to a better place, to a better country, to a better job, to a better environment. What a beautiful feeling to just finally to say, okay, you rejected me after all these things I did or we did together. Thank you. Thank you for the good time and the memories we shared and created together. But I wish you nothing but the best. Let me now start the journey of going somewhere else where I will find much peace and health for my life and for my future. It's painful, but I'm going to take one day at a time. And it begins now and today. Thank you for watching and listening to me. As I said from the beginning, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also don't forget to like and follow this Facebook page. Thank you and God bless. I wish you all the best. Share the video and tag a friend. I'll talk to you soon. Thank you for watching. <laughs>